until you can connect to me, understand me? I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna really give you no give you a happy house and a happy home and y'all ain't go to church. I mean, you have a miserable home and I just, you truly go with it. Because that's the way in the world. Lord, give me happy. Lord, I didn't want to be happy. He said, that's what it is. It's just about you. It ain't about the people connected to you. It ain't about people that love you. It ain't about you. you everything is selfishly endeavor. You're the only thing that matters to you. People say, why do they do that? Because they don't care about nobody but they sell. And if you don't care, if they won't say it is out, they don't want you. Yeah, I'm going to talk to them. Like, oh, Jesus, I don't know. It looks like we're in school or something. Everybody looking at me like, this is some shopping going or something. God. Ain't that real stuff? You, you got to begin it. Disconnect. I'm starting to disconnect. Stop worrying. Do your best. Stop worrying. Live. Time going fast. Years of sweeping. And you're waiting on something never going to happen. Not like that. I'm waiting on this to get you. You, you, you know, every time somebody said that, see, they push back all you know what I'm saying? Something happened. Well, I'm almost there. I'm almost there, honey. I'm almost there. <laughs> two more months. Something happened. It'll have to be another two years. Amen. You know what it is? Procrastination. Procrastination. You wait on something that'll never happen. That's called procrastination. And when one thing get right, then something else ain't right. And something else don't get right, something else don't get right. And something else ain't right. Man. That's the procrastination. That's, that's the spirit of procrastination. They just procrastinate. They fool you. Let me get, let me move on. Because I should have gotten that. That's, that's, that ain't right. The devil don't like when I tell him. You ain't got enough money, you're too skinny, you're too fat, you're going bald. They can fix that too now, so they let's go to Jacksonville. Come and have an afro on it. And I'll be shaking because it won't come off. And some of y'all won't say, oh, look at that. Well, you've been faithful three years. You've been waiting that we get the praise and stuff. I ain't saying nothing about your hair. What's <laughs> 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 so different about mine? Ain't that real stuff? It's time to disconnect. Disconnect. Say disconnect. disconnect. If face the truth. If I, the only way you can disconnect is you face the truth. You cannot disconnect from the world until you face the truth. True about the truth about you. True about you. I'm selfish. I'm stubborn. I gotta have my way. And that ain't no God. I put up with stuff too weak. I'm too fearful. I would say this, but I need to step to be a man. And take responsibility. And stop being a woman and making excuses. Woman, instead of being a woman. Demand things that's supposed to be anyway. Yeah. And, and you're willing to take the consequences. And 
something and they say something or do something, but they wouldn't take the consequences. That's why you end up not saying nothing and nothing never end up changing. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Because you don't stand for, you stand for nothing, you fall for anything. Crab meal do you just fine. <laughs> Somebody ain't catch that. We're going to move up. See, I say about the women because I can say about the men because we already know. Make them, you know. Okay, honey. You know all we.
Y'all ever, ever hit on women take you hit on all that? You used to be, but I all that gone. To the grass ain't green on the other side. But you can always look at it. <laughs> but it is green. If it was in God, it was motivated by God. And if it was picked by God, if it was chosen by God. You say something ain't right. And you pick things and blame things, that ain't what it is. Jesus is missing. That's what ain't right. Ain't God good. You read Matthew 9 and 1. What did it say, sister? And he entered into a ship and passed over and came into his own city. And behold, they brought him on man. Lying on a baby. And Jesus seeing that baby, said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, be of good cheer, that sin be forgiven. Can't God do it? Y'all see that right there? Yeah. He was sick. See, some of people say, Heal and heal and heal. No, you need to get your sins out of your life. You need to straighten up your life and stop talking about healing and miracles and get that sin out of your life. Yeah. What are you for getting healed when you still got sin laying in your life? You still ain't lined up with God. You still ain't doing with God. You got a sick life. Things are happening. You connect to the world. And you ain't, you think you're healing or blessing or this going to straighten it. If you get the sin out your life, things are lined up. Jesus said, look here. That all that sick of the pause, so that means it's bad, was in bad shape. And the first thing that you said, your sin been forgiven. What good is it for me to heal you you still got your sin? What good is it for me to bless you you still acting up? What good is it for me to bring you out of that situation you still ain't going to change your life? God can heal you. God can deliver you. God can set you free. But God is interested in your soul. The enemy can come back Anytime he wants, as long as sin in your life. As long as you got things in your life that God don't approve, ah, yeah, I'm telling you, you scabs can hit you in two weeks or a year from now, two years, and you wonder why it's there. It's there because of sin. People don't know what they're playing with. They think they can live 
just like any kind of way. And when something happens, it's where God helped me to heal me. God said, what could you heal me? You lose your, your soul. Your life is a mess. You see, you ought to be healed, but you ought to be crying out for your soul. You talk about fix up, fix him. You need to get your soul right. God fixed him and fixed him. What? No good thing he was holding him that love him. God will fix your life up and turn your life around and make things right when you love on God and do what God tells you to do. But as long as you got sin in your life, stop complaining to God because the God of this world got you wrapped up. Sin separates you from God. He going to save the world, but you ain't separate yourself from sin. He already delivered you from sin to the world, but you still run to sin. If I take sin from you and put it over here and sin over there, and you keep going into it, who fault is it? But God, no, you got to get rid of that sin. God see your sickness. He see your lack. But he's concerned about your soul. You cry out to God, he only fix it. Turn it around. God said, what about your soul? You want me to move over here? Boy, you got sin in your life. You got cursed things in your life. You deal with cursed things and cursed people. You deal with stuff that have nothing to do with me. But you want me to come in and just pluck you and move on you and you stay like you in Sin separates you from God. You want to be healed, delivered, and set free, but you don't want to let go of that sin. Because you've been talking about grace. Yeah, grace will help you when you run from sin, but you run to sin. If you happen to run into sin, grace will keep you. But if you run into sin, what grace can do for you? what you want. You want to do something that God disapproves of. That's sin. All of disobedience is sin. Did God give you a way out? Yes. If you want to come out, I can't force you out of something you want to stay in. But is God pleased with it? No, he ain't pleased with it. Oh, he can heal you or fix up for you. He'd rather take your sin away. He ready for your life to line up with him. Why do you want God to reward a disobedient child? Do you reward your disobedient children? Do you reward your children for stepping out of all Do you reward your children for stepping out the cookie jar? So why would you want God to reward you? When you still stick in your hand and stuff he's telling you not to stick your hand in. And he showed you how to correct it. He showed you how to correct it. He said, fix this. Fix this right here. He said, well, I don't want to take it. He said, fix it. Get rid of it. No, i I, 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 ain't, I ain't strong enough yet. God's talking to you to do something. He's talking to you ain't strong enough. God give you the strength when he's talking to you. God would ask you to do something you couldn't do. God ready to move in your life and bless you now. He said, but get rid of the sin. You keep got sin in your pocket. Sin is in the camp. You the one got it in the camp. And, I, and things keep going on in your life, and you say, what's wrong, what's wrong? You got sin in your camp. You got things in your life that ain't right. And it's study to it, but breaking you down. It's study destroying you. It ain't hurting nobody else. It's destroying you. It ain't like you don't know it. 
You know it. You know what the word of God is saying. Lord, let's keep tapping my life. I can't get ahead. She's like, no, it won't work for me. He said, get ready to see it. But I like my soap opera. I like that lustful movie. It's so good. Oh, they, everybody on that movie cheats. I like it. I love y'all and me. We always killing somebody. <laughs> the lust of the flesh. Being in a pain. Being stricken. Your cry is you cry out but you won't rip rid of the thing that's in you. You refuse to give it up. You know what I'm saying? But the first thing Jesus said, Jesus said, you sin and forgive That's more important than your sin. Amen. God would rather see you saved and leave this earth as long as you saved. Amen. You more concerned about you living than you will die unsaved. in your life. You know it. You know it ain't nothing that the enemy that's hid from you. It ain't nothing. You know you got something in your life that God's not pleased with. You know it. Y'all ain't talking to me. Ain't that real thing? Yeah. Ain't nobody got to preach to you about what you do because you already know what you do. You already know what God ain't people. That's why you get mad. She's looking at him smiling on toes. Ain't nobody told me that. <laughs> but sure, you know what you're doing. You know it ain't pleasing to God. God ready to take away your sins. He wants your sin to be forgiven because he know he'll bless you coming in and going out. He'll move your life. Oh my God. I want to be healed. No, you need to be saved. Yeah. Yeah. You need to be delivered. You need to straighten that crooked road. You need to get that cursed thing out your house. You need to line that thing up right that's wrong in your life. Yeah. That's what let the enemy in. Yeah. That's what's causing these things on the line to get right. Who Jesus. Jesus. Y'all know? Yeah. Oh, y'all like talking about sin. I love talking about sin. I gotta get back to talking about sin more. Because some of y'all got so righteous in that. I know you got sin in your life. Ain't <laughs> y'all good? Yeah. Not perfect man, but we gotta work on getting this sin out. Yeah. Things affecting your life too much. You gotta see it. You gotta see it in your life that's hindering you from getting to the point A to point B. And you're looking at everything else, wondering what it is. And you know what it is, but you don't want to face it. You don't want to deal with it. It's sin that will lead to death. It's some things you can do that God won't hold account you accountable for. But it's some things you can do that He'll hold you accountable for. Amen. Some things God said, I won't put the for you accountable for. That's when you walk in by faith and trust in God and you fall. But when you run into the pool of sin, come on, man. You dive and do it the backstroke in the pool. You out here trying to watch this. You build a backflip in the sea. And don't scare them, don't care who see you. But yet we cry out to God. You know what we're talking about this today? I was talking because people crying out to God. People need God to move in their life. People ready for a miracle. People need supernatural yeah. move of God. Yes. People need God to show up in light of everything with somebody. They know God know their heart. And they need a move of God. Yes. 
And they crying out, so God said, tell them to get that sin out of their life. Line up with me. And I'll bless them. I'll move in their life. Tell them to line up with me. Don't make excuses. Get it right because God is not pleased with you. We ain't got to sit down and go through a list and tell you what all. You know what it is. If God told me, I know what it is. Y'all know what I'm saying? Is it up in the right house? You know what it is? Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, You know what it is? Now tell them, tell them. Not over there, not And then one of them will look back and say, you ain't got time to listen. It's a long list. <laughs> this is what you said. Come on, he says. <laughs> and behold, certain of the scribes said within themselves, this man blessed him. And Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, wherefore thank you in evil in your hearts? For whether it is easier to say that sins be forgiven thee, or to say arise and walk. Hold on, right there, for me. It's easy for your sin to be forgiven. All you got to do is confess it. But there ain't no need to confess it something if you ain't going to turn from it. But I confess anyway. Because I'm working on turning. I'm working on getting better. So I'm going to tell the Lord, Lord, forgive me for this. Lord, forgive me for that. Because I'm working on getting better. I'm trying to straighten up. I'm putting forth effort for things to change. I'm not just sitting there in my fucking, to my grace cover me. And I ain't trying to press forward to change. I ain't trying to know what this is. I got to get it right. Tell them we got to do this right. We got to get this right. We got to turn this thing around. We got to do what God says. Because we can't keep going like this. We can't keep doing it. We got to die that way God. Slipping, uh, but still moving. Still press the pool. See, it's not give to the quick or to the swimmer, it's give to the one that do to the You keep going, that's why it's going to turn around. Amen. You keep walking around, you keep practicing righteousness. See, folks don't understand about this thing. You got to practice this thing to get better. Yeah. You can't practice unrighteousness and get better. You got to practice righteousness to get better. You got to practice doing what's right and get better. You got to practice controlling your temper. You got to practice controlling your anger. You got to practice to let go and let it let loose. You got to do better. You got to practice this. Amen. This ain't something that you wake up in the morning and everything right because you got saved. You got to practice righteousness. And when people get discouraged and they think they're supposed to be right this morning, they think all of a sudden being up here, they might. I got saved last week. <laughs> and then they cuss it all week from the Lord Jesus. I got to go back to church and get saved again. <laughs> no, you got to be practicing righteousness, walking by faith and not by sight. You got to be practicing to do the right thing. Amen. You can't keep practicing doing the wrong thing and think you're going to change. You, get better at it. Yeah, it's not God to win first. That's why you get used to it. You begin to transform. So I say, how do you get? You practice it. How do you get your anointing to move? You practice it. How do you get God to begin to bless you and begin to talk to you? You practice it. You don't just all of a sudden just begin to pray and all of a sudden just. Oh, you get out every day. You sure that God? You don't even practice righteousness. You don't even practice being a, re a relationship get better as the longer you stay in it. Supposedly, I'm talking about the God relationship. I ain't talking about yours. The God relationship. Why do you get better? Because you practice it. What happens is you get in a relationship, you get saved, and you don't practice getting better. Amen. You got condemned because you, you didn't practice it. When you did it wrong, somebody condemned you, so you stopped practicing. The problem with you, you gotta keep practicing. Yes, you're gonna be, you going to make think you know some are more quicker than others. Hallelujah. But at least I'm practicing it. I'm studying coming, I'm studying praising, I'm studying seeking God, I'm studying trying to do what's right, I'm studying trying to keep my tongue. Untamed vessel. Untamed. Bible said that's the most untamed thing in my That's the most thing in your life right now. That's the thing they can put out some stuff, don't you? But you got to practice, 
keep your mouth shut. Sometimes something like slip out, but you got to keep practicing. You can't give up on it. You got to practice dealing with folk. You can't just stay out like them and stop dealing. You got to practice. And you get better at it. Every time I go around, I was better this time. I almost told him, but I didn't tell him this time. Last time I told him. That's what practice and righteousness. Say righteousness. I got to get closer to God. Say hallelujah. Ain't that awesome? Y'all with me? If you don't, this is the thing. If you don't practice righteousness, you will not get better. Say righteousness. You will not get better. What happened with people? They stopped trying. They stopped practicing. You have never met a sports person or anybody in any profession that I've been practicing before they became professional. In order for you to get better in anything, you got to practice to do better. Amen. That's even dealing with God. You got some things on you need to get off you, but if you don't try to get rid of them, they try to get rid of them. You got to try to get rid of them. And then like, there's supernatural things God can do, but he got, you got to first put forth your help. You go and say, no, I ain't going, ain't going, ain't going. I'm going to try to do something else. I'm going to do something else today. I'm going to do it. Is it hard? Yeah, because I'm used to doing it. But is it practice trying to do it? Yes. Amen. So God so God going to help me. God going to be there for me. But when I stop trying to give it to sin, I don't care what they say. This is what it is. This is how it is. This is my life, and they just want to accept it. I'm still saved. I don't know what heaven you want to. <laughs> Some folks just think because you say you're saved, they think it's all good. That's all they do is I'm saved. Okay, you believe that you want. I hate to be on my sick bed. I hate when you be on your sick bed. I guess you be bringing up all kinds of stuff. You get sick, you become a, don't forgive me for this. I know I ain't never a good life. Oh, you had to wait till you get sick to do that. Some of y'all had that day, y'all was just confessing all kinds of stuff. <laughs> God, forgive me if I ain't doing what's right, God. If I leave here, God, I'm only saved. Take it back God, forgive me for having that phone book. God, I'll get rid of soon as I get away. God, forgive me for talking to him on the phone. Jesus, my help me, God. I didn't mean to cuss him out last week. God, forgive me, Jesus. <laughs> God, but if I'm going to leave here, God, help me. And when I get back in church, I'm going to preach. Every day I get, I'm going to preach. Get back two weeks later, you ain't doing that. Don't wait to try to get right when you get sick or when you get down or get a bit that's your pocket. You around here and they was carrying a Bible now. They know you ain't got nowhere to go. Ain't God do it. I, I love, I love prison. You know why I love prison? Because everybody be a preacher when they get in. <laughs> Two days after we they ain't preaching no more. Got women in bags that come out of the ninja hockey top. They can't they get out of the room. <laughs> they ain't preaching no more. Don't be pressured to do it right. Practice to get it right. Practice it. God will move in your life if you just put on some effort. Stop giving it to the enemy and fight against it. God ready to do some things in your life. Put it down for a week. Say, so I ain't doing that for a week. Practice it. Ain't gonna do it for a day. Some of y'all might want to say, I ain't gonna do it for two hours. But <laughs> Practice and get better at it. Because God ready to do something in your life. But if you don't practice righteousness, man, you ain't going to have that. Ain't all good. Y'all with me? So you say, it's easy to forgive sin. That ain't not going to be able to forgive you for the day he forgave you. You took communion, all your sins been wiped out. Can you believe it? You took communion, all your sins been wiped out. You got a clean slate right now. Now, I don't know what went through your mind so you had a screen stay. Because you've been here a little minute, so your boss could have been a took you right back in. It's time to get sin 
in out your life. And I guarantee every crooked road we made straight. If you just practice it. If you just practice getting better, things will start getting better. It's some things you know is dead, not godly. You know it. Ain't even practice get rid of it. God to deliver me. No, you deliver. You practice and get delivered. Hey, y'all, good. You have to start getting rid of something. God, God can heal you. Amen. God can heal your broken life. God can heal your broken relationship. God can heal your body. God's a healer. Amen. But that's not what is important to Him. Paul said, Why are we? Because that ain't what's important. You need to get your soul right. Amen. You need to line yourself up with God. Because I don't know who told you you're going to be here forever. Amen. Y'all be crying about people. I say, you ain't crying. You read a little bit. You'll be here forever. Y'all ain't saying that. Amen. Y'all look at me like that. And, and, and right here, look at me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You used to be 20. Now you're not. Uh huh. Oh, you're yeah, not. Nah. You was 20 one time. Oh, you're yeah, not. Nah. Mm-hmm. And you're like yesterday, wasn't it?
No. What the use of a move if God healed you? God said you can get that sin. What the use of being healed of him and his, his sin is still in his life? See, sometimes you think the thing that God bless you with, but it's the God in the world with the spawn you bless you with, because God will never bless you with because he knows you weren't going to do right with it. But the devil will give it to you so you can continue to destroy yourself. See, that's the difference that the blessings of God don't come to bring you no sorrow, but the blessings of the enemy will bring you sorrow. So all that stuff you call them blessings because you look good and got all your truth and all your little and all your nice stuff. So you think God bless you with that? But yeah, God, God did when it wasn't the God with the small G. It was the God with the small G when the God would beat you. Because God would never get to you because you ain't ready for it. It's dragging you down. It's repressing you. Things going on in your life that you ain't got a clue. I don't know what this because I got this. Yeah, you blessed by the devil. Let's put the blame to you. The God of this world. Oh, I got me some stacks. <laughs> you stack all that stack of the devil. Go ahead, God. When that devil gets through, you go, woo, woo. He come to, he come to collect. That devil come to collect, he don't play. How you blessed with something you can't much use? You can't even drive. You can't even live it. How you call that a blessing? Well, that's where we're at. Canvas and joy. Scared the man in the truck passing by. Man in the truck. Y'all know what the man I'm talking about. They got the little hook back there. Scared if you park in Walmart, you're going to come out the house and go be gone. <laughs> you hide your stuff all in the bushes. Because you know they come to collect. You talking about I'm blessed. Blessed are the best in back here with Blessed are by the best. And hide in the bushes. Right now, but I'm the wild and true daughters rather than light. Don't be mad because people leave my church and go back and live that life like they heard that they made a choice. I don't be not be normal. I'm like, praise the Lord. God bless you. Because you got to make a choice. Because they, God let you know, now you have a count. The Bible says, better not to know it, don't know it, don't do. Now you know, you ain't going to fix it. You ain't gonna fix it? Hallelujah. Okay, that's you, between you and God now. Say hallelujah, Jesus. Hang on, you read that book. But anyway, God's good, ain't it? Come on, put your hand together, God's free. God is ready to bless you. You just got to do what you need to do. God is ready to move by His power and bring revival in your life, but you just got to do what you need to do. You can't lose with God. Amen. Somebody said, it didn't work out right. Wait a minute, hold up, don't talk too fast. It's going to work out right. It's going to turn around good, but just leave it alone. Don't let your first reaction destroy your blessing. Because God will move if you stand still and know He's God. But you need to line your life up and get yourself lined up, get to sit out your life. That you know. I can't make nobody else do it, but I should sure make sure work out my soul salvation. I gotta work out my soul salvation. Because guess what? If, you go, if we go to the hell together, ain't nobody gonna be holding hands. There ain't gonna be no holding hands down there, y'all. Y'all know how? And, and, and all your jury gonna be hot, it's gonna be burning your neck. Ain't no relationship. You ever see that 
the guy, the guy, the, uh, the guy come in with the gun with the shooting, and the, the, he was with, he was with the girl. The girl was standing next to him. They was together. They was all hugged up like this. They were sitting together, and the man with the shoot, he left off and shoot me. <laughs> Like, save yourself. Y'all heard that? Say, save yourself. You better save yourself. But I don't want them. I don't care what they do. Well, they, I don't want them. You better save yourself. You better lie to yourself. We're going to stop confessing Jesus. You ain't going to line up with Jesus. 